हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर एजुकेशन आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी सो दो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव अ ड्रीम ऑफ स्टडीइंग इन आईआईटी फॉर एमएस प्रोग्राम और पीएचडी प्रोग्राम एंड हु डिड नॉट गेट एडमिशन येट ओके सो देयर इज अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु मिस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ड्यूरिंग द समर एडमिशंस ओके सो नाउ इन विंटर देयर इज अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम IIT Bhubaneswar okay so that is regarding admissions to ms program as well as phd program so let us check what is that uh, golden opportunity for many of the students so here on the screen uh, you can see just i'm sharing the screen for you people kindly see here so we are going to discuss about iit bhubaneswar okay so let us write iit bhubaneswar yes here so if we go to the website of iit bhubaneswar uh, here you can see news and updates okay on the right side if i am looking in this uh, screen so news and updates so here you can see admission to master of science by research program for the spring session 2023-24. Okay, and above this we have admission to the PhD program for the spring session 2023-24. So admission to Master of Science by Research program. Let us see this first. Okay, so application started. It is started on 18th of October, and now application end date is 23rd of November. Okay, so this information also you can find on the website of your PDA. where we regularly update all the forms details and i am telling you this in detail in this video because ms research is there and many students search for ms uh, opportunity okay so here uh, note down the application end date that is 23rd of november okay so you have around 10 days to uh, appear for this uh, to apply for this uh, post and now let us see the detail notification so if we click here what we see school of electrical sciences so in school of electrical sciences we have uh, computer science and engineering domain we have electronics and communication engineering we have electrical engineering okay so there are three specializations we can see in school of electrical sciences and the main research areas there you can find okay if you are interested in artificial intelligence machine learning so this is in the computer science and engineering domain and then electronics and communication engineering integrated circuits and vlsi that is the most favorite of most of the students so here is uh, available in electronics and communication domain then for electrical also we have renewable energy system microgrid and smart grid oh, there are different areas electrical vehicle is also there that is also very popular nowadays so electrical vehicle is also there you can go for that okay and uh, then we have school of infrastructure uh, for civil engineering so there are many specializations like water resources structural engineering geotech and transportation and environmental engineering so you can apply for these specializations then in mechanical school of mechanical sciences we have mechanical engineering and then we are having minerals metallurgical and metals engineering in this department separate department is there now uh, let us see the eligibility criteria for this application so eligibility criteria is b btech okay in appropriate discipline with minimum 60% marks or 6.5 cgpa and the candidate must be gate qualified okay so you should have some gate score uh, it may be low also but it should be qualified right or you should have msc okay msc with the ugc net csir net okay or gate this is the requirement and uh, one there is a uh, 60% throughout they are asking 5% relaxation will be there either in 10th uh, 12th standard or 12th standard okay so in one of them if you are having uh, less than 60% marks either in 10th or 12th that there is no problem uh, you will uh, you are allowed to appear for this okay and uh, then what we have students with btech from cfti right so if you are from any cfti and you are having 8 cgpa or more cgp 8 than more than 8 cgpa then gate score is not required okay without gate you can apply okay and then there are different categories also 
now gate requirement okay so which gate is discipline is required uh, for which specialization so here you can see school of elect electrical sciences okay first of all school of electrical sciences so if you are having a gate discipline electrical engineering instrumentation engineering in okay and uh, then we are having electronics and communication instrumentation electrical engineering in electronic science code 88 okay and uh, we are having for computer science and information technology cs gate discipline for computer science and application specialization okay so 87 so we can see here code there are some codes i think so you can match the code here according to the specialization okay kindly go through it and uh, selection process so the shortlisted candidates will have to appear for the written test and interview and selection to be based on 40% weightage in the written test, 60% weightage in the interview. And uh, final merit list will be prepared on the basis of both written test as well as interview. Application fee is 500. Okay. And application fee is non-refundable. And uh, the most important part is female candidates are exempted from payment of application fee. So if you are a female candidate, you should apply. Okay. There is no fee. Okay. So all of you, the, uh, those who are eligible and willing to get admission here in MS Research Program, kindly apply, kindly read all, all these details. I have informed you. Now it's your responsibility to go through all the details. Okay. So this is about your MS Research Program and uh, forms detail, application link, every, everything is available here. So kindly go through it. Okay. And then PhD also. So if we talk about PSG program, uh, so here PSG notification is there. Syllabus for written test is also given there. You can check the syllabus also. Okay. So 23rd November is the last date for PSG. And uh, so Institute PSG scholar in basic sciences like bioscience, okay, chemistry and physics, all these mathematics also there. Atmosphere and ocean sciences, geology, computer science, electronics and communication, electrical. Okay. Then school of humanities, social science and management is also there. So you can go for economics, English, psychology, philosophy. Okay. Then is for civil engineering students, there are many specializations for PhD. For mechanical, also we are having opportunities here. So now minimum eligibility criteria. Okay. So what is the eligibility criteria? So MEM Tech, okay, with 60% marks, uh, the candidate must be get qualified in an appropriate discipline or, okay, be BTEC with 70% marks, uh, the candidate must be get qualified, right? So get qualification is required here for both M Tech as well as uh, BTEC students. So direct PhD is available there. If you are only having BTEC degree, then also you can uh, apply provided that you have minimum 70% marks plus a valid gate score. Okay. So all engineering, uh, all engineering schools, this is the mainly criteria for humanities, social science. There is some different criteria for basic science. There is different criteria. So kindly go through it and uh, all the details you have to check and apply in the uh, specialization in which you are interested. Okay. So I request all of you, I suggest all of you, all the students kindly go through these details and apply before the last date. Okay. So we will keep updating you regarding the different opportunities for MS students, uh, for BTEC holders who want to go for MS and as well as for MTech students who want to go for PhD. Okay. Or any BTEC student who want to go for direct PhD. And uh, the website of your PDA also you have to check daily. There we will upload all the information. Okay. All the best.